Good. Awesome. All right. Okay. Good morning, everybody. My name is Melissa. Thanks for tuning in to Mystic Fitness 9 a.m. Hot Flow with me today. Happy Monday. We are teaching in studio and live streaming on our Facebook and Instagram every day at 9 a.m. So definitely tune in and thank you for joining me this morning. So you can begin in a comfortable spot. Um, we're going to start in a laying down position today. Just take any movements you need to get comfortable and let yourself settle down. Begin to drop in to the sensations of the body and the feeling of weight. Just noticing generally any underlying mood or feelings or sensations in the body. Maybe just doing a quick scan down from the top of your head, making your way down through the body to the toes. Not getting stuck in any one area, just noticing. And if you haven't already noticed, begin to find your breath. Just a general sense of where you feel it. Maybe the tip of the nose or the belly rising and falling. And begin to consciously Deep in your breath. Take a big inhale and constrict the back of your throat and let it out through your nose. One more time. Big in breath and let it out through your nose. Continue in this way, connecting with your ujjayi breath, constricting the muscles in the back of your throat, allowing the rhythm of the breath to sound like ocean waves crashing and receding. And now that you've established this connection with your breath, allow this to become the base of your yoga practice as you begin to take any natural movements that feel good for you as you begin to wake up the body. Maybe it's wiggling the fingers and the toes. Could be a big stretch overhead. Still breathing. And with your next in-breath, take a big stretch overhead, inhale, and let it go. The next in-breath, grab your right wrist with your left hand and drag it over to the left side of the room. Little banana shape here, you might cross your right ankle over your left. Help get into that side body a bit. One more big breath here. Returning towards center, letting everything go long, 
big inhale and then taking it to the other side, dragging the left wrist over to the right, maybe crossing the left ankle over. And then returning back to center, big inhale. And on the exhale, you might curl your knees into your chest, give them a squeeze, maybe a little rocking back and forth, side to side. Allow your left leg to go long to the mat, still hugging your right knee into your chest. Begin to take some circular motions with the knee, crossing the body, bringing it over to the left, bringing it back into the chest, allowing the knee to drop out to the side. And just making some circles with your knee, allowing it to get wider or whatever your hips need this morning. few hip circles in one direction, a few in the other. Couple more breaths here. And interlace your hands behind the back of your right thigh. Take a big in-breath, and on the exhale, press the heel up towards the sky, toes point pointing towards shin. Inhale, pull the knee back into chest. Exhale, press away. And keep moving like this with your breath, getting into the hamstrings. One more time. Inhale, curl the knee into the chest. Exhale, press the heel away. And here, just take some ankle circles here, allowing the toes to draw circles in the sky. Five times in one direction. And then five in the other. Allowing the right leg to go long onto the mat, taking it to the other side now, bringing the left knee into your chest, giving it a squeeze, allowing it to begin to take some big circular motions, crossing the body, pulling it into your chest, allowing the knee to drop out and open. Noticing the subtle differences on each side of the body. Getting into the nooks and crannies. few more breaths here. And then interlace the hands behind the left thigh. Pull your knee into your chest. Give it a squeeze. Inhale. Then exhale. Press the left heel towards the sky. Toes towards shin. And then inhale. Pull your knee back into your chest. Exhale. Press the heel away. Moving with your breath again. Two more times. And on your next exhale, allow your ankle to loosen up, taking some ankle circles, allowing your toes to open up and kind of explore the length of your left leg here. Switching directions when you're ready. And then allowing the left leg to drop to the mat. Bend your knees. Place your feet underneath your knees. Allow your arms to go out sideways. And then drop the left the knees to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, return towards center. Allow your knees to drop to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, return towards center. Again, knees towards the left. Exhale. Inhale, return towards center, and continue moving like this, just taking some light spinal twists. Just beginning to get into the low back here, warming up the spine. Can incorporate the neck. And 
And then next time you're in that center position with your knees bent, your feet underneath your knees, you can take the arms alongside the body, begin to ground down through the heels, and making sure your tailbone is tucked underneath, begin to squeeze your glutes and lift your glutes off of the mat for a glute bridge, squeezing at the top, and then slowly lowering back down one vertebrae at a time. Again, lift and squeeze at the top and lower back down. We'll do 15 more of these, just getting in to the glutes, moving slow and controlled, keeping that mind muscle connection. It might feel good to hold at the top for a bit. or the motions might feel good, kind of rocking the pelvis. It might even feel good when you're down on the ground to allow that back to arch a little bit before curling and then pressing up. Ten more. Really driving through the heels. Noticing if your knees are flaring out too much and just Trying to keep everything aligned, knees stacked over ankles. Five more. Last two. Good, and then slowly lowering all the way down. You can make your way onto your side, and then when you're ready, Come on up to a seated position, facing the front of your mat. Just take a big inhale, let the arms go up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Just taking a moment here, possibly closing your eyes, reconnecting with your breath. And reminding yourself of an intention for your practice this week ahead of you. And then on the inhale, big stretch overhead and you can begin to circle out the wrists a little bit, shake them out, switching directions. And then allow the hands to come to your shoulders, elbows bend, and begin to take some circles with the elbows getting into the upper back and switching directions, taking as wide or as little circles as feels good for you this morning. And then when you're ready, slowly making your way into the tabletop position, shoulders stacked over wrists, hips over knees. Just taking some arches and curls here on the inhale, you can look up, drop your belly, and exhale, round your spine, press the floor away from you. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. And allow this motion to become more fluid, maybe incorporating the hips. You might step the knees out a little farther and begin to take some hip circles, maybe pressing back and forth all while arching and curling. Just beginning to notice the low back and hip connection. You can incorporate the neck before slowly pushing all the way back, allowing your hips to rest over your heels arms go out long in front of you and forehead rests down on the mat or a block or blanket for child's pose. Regrounding here. Checking with your breath. And begin to tent the fingers just Allowing a little bit more of a shoulder opening here. 
And you can walk the fingers to the left while pressing the hips back and to the right. And returning towards center, walking your tented fingers over to the right, sending your hips back and to the left. Getting into the side body. And then before returning towards center, and just let yourself reground. Even out. One more big breath. Inhale. And on the exhale, return to your tabletop position here. And we're going to lift the left leg back behind you straight. Squeeze the glute. And on the exhale, release it back down. And send it back out behind you. Taking some ki kicks here, some glute kickbacks. You might crunch that left knee into your chest before you send it back out. And we'll do 10 more of these, squeezing at the top. Squeeze that left glute and flex the left foot. Five more. Two more. And now taking that left knee, releasing it down and switching to the other side, right leg going back behind you strong, squeezing the right glute, flexing the right foot, and then curling it in towards your chest or just tapping it down for sending it back out again long behind you. Five more. Slow and controlled. Actually makes it a lot harder. Last one. And then release that right knee down. This time taking the left knee out to the side laterally. And squeezing at the top. And then releasing back down. Left knee going out long to the side. You may even incorporate floating that right hand, possibly even resting it behind your ear. And then you can crunch this all in towards the middle, sending the left knee out long, as well as the right elbow, crunching in, and then sending them out in opposite directions. Noticing the shaking in the left hand, activation of core. Five more here. Last one, squeeze at the top, and evening everything out, taking it to the other side now. Right knee going out to the side, squeezing at the top, possibly incorporating that left hand into it, and then crunching everything in. Five more. Last one, and then releasing down. You can let your hips go back over your heels, maybe separate the knees a little wider. Just regrounding here, catching your breath in child's pose. Returning towards tabletop. Make your way onto your knees. It might feel good to put a blanket under your knees or even fold your mat to provide a little bit more support for your knees. And then send your left leg out la laterally to the side. You can place your left hand to the outside of your left thigh. Inhale, reach up with your right hand. And exhale, reach over your left. It might feel good to take some arm circles with that right arm. Just exploring the side body. One more breath here.
and then taking your hands, reaching them in front of you as if you're going to go back in tabletop, and then taking your right hand up towards the sky, take a twist on the inhale, and on the exhale, thread that right arm through. You might tap that right shoulder down. Inhale, twist, and exhale, tap that right shoulder down. One more time. And then returning towards tabletop, letting that left leg even out and making your way onto your knees, allowing the right leg to go out laterally. You can place the right hand to the outside of the right thigh or even the right shin. And then on an inhale, allow the left arm to reach up towards the sky. Exhale, begin to stretch to the right side of the room. Really grounding down to the outside of that right foot. Allowing the limb of the left arm. Noticing the rib cage that crunches on the right side of the body. One more breath here. Whatever it looks like for you. And then taking your hands in front of you for a, a little mini tabletop here. And then allow the left arm to reach up towards the sky on the in-breath. And on the exhale, thread it through and possibly tap that left shoulder down. Or just reach to your degree of comfort. Inhale, twisting up. And moving with your breath here, taking a couple, just noticing how that kind of amplifies that feeling in the right hip as you twist. Then one last time, exhale, tap that left shoulder down. And then returning towards tabletop, evening everything out, maybe taking some arches and curls, noticing how it feels different. Now that the hips are a little bit more warmed up. And then finding a neutral spine, not too arched, not too curled. Begin to tuck the toes underneath and lift your knees up off the mat just by an inch. Finding a little bit of a bear pose here. Noticing the shoulders. Imagine my hand in between your shoulder blades that you're pushing away. And drop the knees. Take a big breath. Same thing with this engaged core. Neutral spine. Find that bear pose again. Knees up off the mat just by an inch. And this time, send your hips all the way back for a downward facing. Head yes, shake them no. It might feel good to just hold it static, this inversion. And beginning to take some back and forth presses from your down dog to your plank. Just noticing the alignment of the joints here. Next time you're in that down dog, send your right leg up back behind you. And then curl it in towards your chest. Inhale, send your right leg down. Exhale, curl the right knee to chest and step right foot towards right thumb. You can drop the back knee. And on the inhale, stretch up overhead. And on the exhale, hands to heart center. Begin to twist over the right knee, elbow hooking that left that right knee. Looking towards the right side of the room. Inhale, reach back up. And on the exhale, step forward for a forward fold. On the inhale, stand all the way up, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back for a plank. You can let your knees drop down and then begin to, while hugging your elbows into your sides, drop all the way down to the mat. Place your shoelace sides of the feet into the ground, activate. Lift your knees, kneecaps up off the mat, squeezing your glutes. Find a baby cobra here, allowing your heart to lift, your neck to be long, shoulders down and away from your head. Big, bre big breath in, and on the exhale, press through your tabletop, find your downward facing dog. When you're ready, send your left leg back behind you on the inhale. Exhale, left knee to left to your chest. And then send it back up behind you. And you can step that left leg down. Let that right knee drop. And take a nice big in-breath stretch up towards the sky. And then exhale, you can fold over. Hook that left knee with the right elbow. incorporating the benefits here of a twist as well as opening up the hamstrings, the hips, beginning to really ground through that left foot. Inhale, reach up. And on the exhale, you can step forward, find a forward fold. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, Plant your hands, step back for a plank, optionally keeping the knees lifted or dropping them down for a chaturanga. Exhale, lowers you halfway down. And then inhale, you can either take a baby cobra or an up dog here, flipping to the shoelace sides of the foot. And then exhale, bending your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Taking a breath here. And you can either walk your hands or float to the top of your mat. Take a big breath in, reach up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, send your left hand in front of you and your right hand back behind you, allowing your hips to stay facing towards the front of the room. Just twisting from the mid back here. Taking a big breath in. And then on the out breath, allow that right hand to swoop underneath the left, crossing at the elbows. Bend your elbows, point your fingers towards the sky. You might just grab opposite shoulders here, or you might allow your palms to touch, fingers to interlace. Big breath in. And then with this little mini eagle bind, wherever you are, just hugging your shoulders or with your hands interlaced, take a little bit of a back bend. Inhale. And then exhale with the bind, forward fold. Allowing that extra weight of the bind to really let you get into your forward fold. Maybe stepping the feet a little wider. Inhale, unwind, halfway lift. Hands to shin. And then exhale, step your hands down, your feet back. Vinyasa of choice. Or just skip the push-ups and meet in down dog. Always an option. Same thing. Hopping to the top of your mat or walking. Inhale. Reach up towards the sky. And on the exhale, allowing that open twist to the left side of the room now with your left arm going back behind you. Hips shining forward. And then allowing that left arm to swoop underneath the right. Bending at the elbows grabbing opposite shoulders or interlacing hands, pulling the elbows down. And then take a big breath in. Back bend here, opening up the chest, and then exhale, forward fold with the bind. You can unwind everything, let it all go, halfway lift, and then hands plant, feet step back. Exhale, lowers you halfway down. Inhale, heart bursts open. Good morning. And then exhale, down dog. Awesome.
So from here, you can either, we're going to take a malasana, a yogi squat. You can either jump up or you can just take a big step, step to right outside the outside of your mat and find a nice yogi squat here. Imagine that your elbows aren't pressing away. Can you still activate your knees away from each other, squeezing your glutes? Chest is proud. And then from here, press into your heels, drive up all the way up to stand, squeeze at the top, and then lower back down. Just two more times here, squeezing, driving through the heels, standing all the way up, and then lowering down. And then one last time, stand all the way up. Awesome, and then lower back down. And then from here, send your left leg back behind you. You're in a nice position here for a lizard with your right leg already a little bit farther out than hip distance. You can walk it off the mat if that feels good. It might feel good to drop that back left knee. Noticing how this feels for you. You might feel good to just enjoy a stagnant hold here, or you can try walking your hands a little bit to the left, seeing how that feels a little bit to the right. You might press into that right foot and kind of extend the right leg. No right or wrong, just noticing what feels good in your body. Making sure you protect the knee. And then from here, curl your back toes underneath. If you had dropped that back knee, lift it up, and then begin to take a high lunge all the way up. Inhale. And on the exhale, just like we did in the beginning, hands to heart space and twist over that right knee. Left elbow hooking the right knee. Same thing we did in the beginning, just a little bit more warmed up here and from the high lunge. Drop the left back heel down into the mat. Grab your right wrist and pull it all the way up and back. Extend the right leg long for Sky Archer. Noticing the right side body opening up. Big inhale. And then on the exhale, allow the right arm to reach out in front of you, even perhaps farther than your right toes. Tip, tip, tip all the way, and then allow your right hand to rest on your right shin or right thigh. Just a point of contact here as you take your left arm up towards the sky for your triangle. Not pouring too much weight into that right hand. If you're at home, you might enjoy a block underneath your, your right hand instead. And you may optionally even float that right hand allowing that left hip pull open and noticing your breath. And then allow that left hand to swoop back behind you, down, and then grab your right hand, pull it all the way back, extend the right leg for Sky Archer once again. And this time, turn to face, turn your body to face the front. Allow your left hand to drop to the inside of your right foot, or even on your right foot, or perhaps the outside of it, for a reverse triangle, allowing the right hand to reach up towards the sky. Maybe circling the right wrist a little bit. And then placing your weight in that right foot, begin to slowly pivot towards that right foot, place all your weight and stand all the way up for your tree pose, bending the left knee, sending it out long to the side, and then placing your left foot to the inside of your right thigh or right shin, just avoiding the knee. Balancing on that right foot. And then you may even interlace your hands behind your back. I'll turn just so you can see what it looks like. 
Maybe opening up the chest a little bit. One more breath here. And then allowing that left leg to drop down, landing back in your Malasana Yogi Squat. This time, sending the right leg back behind you, finding a lizard pose or whatever variation feels good to you. You might keep that back leg lifted through the whole thing. You might like to drop that back knee. And then again, just any exploration, maybe a static hold, maybe walking the hands from side to side, maybe bending and extending that left leg. Once again, the subtle differences on each side. Just honoring and respecting that. And then from here, curling the back toes underneath, placing your weight in your left leg and ball of your back foot to lift you all the way up to a high lunge. Inhale, arms go long. And then exhale, hands to heart center, and begin to hook that right elbow over the left knee for a twist. Really squeezing the right glute, feeling all four corners of your front left foot. And then dropping that right heel down, grabbing your left wrist and bringing it all the way with you, you your front left leg for a sky archer. Getting into that left side body. And then drop that left hand down. Allow it to extend to the front of the room, tip you forward, and then eventually hinge and allow yourself to find triangle on the left side. Keeping the core engaged as you float that left hand or just allow it to be a point of contact. And then taking that right wrist, taking some circles with it, and then sending it back behind you, allowing it to come underneath your body. Grab that left wrist, extend the left leg, long, pull it back, sky archer once again. And then this time, facing near the front of the room, allowing the right hand to swoop down to the inside of the left foot, or perhaps on the left foot, or even beyond to the outside of it while you allow the left arm to reach up towards the sky for a reverse triangle. Big breath here. And then begin to place your, your weight into your left foot. Stand all the way up onto the left foot. Find your tree pose wherever your right leg lands, maybe hands to heart center or perhaps even interlaced behind you, allowing for a bit of a heart opening. One more breath here. And then allowing yourself to land back into that yogi squat. whenever you feel ready, and then driving through your heels, taking a little bit more squat to standing motions here. We'll just squeeze at the top and then lower back down. One more time, stand up, drive through the heels, squeeze, lower back down. Awesome. Plant your hands, step your feet back to a plank pose. Allow your heels to drop to the right and find a side plank keeping the left arm up towards the sky. You might drop the right knee. And then from wherever you are in your side plank, you may begin to lift that left leg. You might even bend it and find a bit of a tree pose here from your side plank. And then you might even keep your legs just as they are. You could send your left leg back straight but you might keep your legs exactly where they are. Return towards your plank position with this little tree bind you got. And we're just going to take three push-ups here. Exhale, lowers you down. Inhale, back up. One more.
and then returning towards plank. Big breath in and let it go. Dropping your heels to the left here. Letting your right hand reach up towards the sky. You might bend that right knee and find a little bit of a tree pose here. Tree is the theme today if you haven't picked up on it. <laughs> awesome. And then keeping this bind or letting the right leg go long. Returning back towards plank and then taking three push-ups here. One last one. And then return towards plank. Just hold it for two seconds for me. One. Two. And then drop the knees. Lower all the way down to the mat. Awesome job. Just let yourself catch your breath here. Send your arms back long behind you. Shoelace sides of the feet engaged, kneecaps lift, glutes squeeze, lift your chest up, let your heart open, find a little bit of a locus here, you might even begin to float those back feet. And then exhale lower all the way down to the mat. When you're ready, pushing up back through your tabletop position, taking any movement here that might feel good, letting the neck feel heavy, shaking the hips side to side. Curl your toes under, send your hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Pick your leg up on the inhale, on the exhale, curl your right knee into your chest, step your right foot towards right thumb. Find a bit of a low lunge here. And then begin to shift that weight into your right leg and stand up with your left leg back behind you for a warrior three variation. You might put your hands to the upper right thigh. You might float them out in front of you. If they're floated out in front of you, begin to take your elbows as well as your left knee and crunch everything in towards center. And with this crunch, begin to hinge and stand up and find a high karate. Awesome. And from here, you might begin to place the left ankle over the right thigh. Take your hands to your heart center, and you might bend the right knee and find a bit of a figure four variation. Whatever feels good for you. Getting a little bit lower on that right leg. And then allowing yourself to stand a little bit back up. Allow that left knee to keep lifted. You might grab just the left knee or perhaps even the left toe as you begin to bring it out to the side, extend it out wide, and then step your left foot all the way to the back of your mat and find a goddess pose. Facing the left side of the room, toes out, heels in, allowing knees to stack over ankles. Just taking some breaths here, letting yourself be grounded after all that. Balancing, allowing a big in-breath to open your arms out wide, and on the exhale, just like we did in the beginning, allow the right elbow to cross underneath the left. Bend your elbows and find whatever variation of eagle bind feels good for you. And then with this bind, begin to reach your fingers down to the inside of your right ankle. Swoop your mat, reach over to the left ankle, rise back up and do it again. Taking some big circles here. 
with the bind, returning towards center and then taking it to the other side, swooping it across your mat. One last time. Bring everything back to even out, stretch wide. And then turning towards the front of the mat, find that low lunge position. You can stamp your hands down, step your right foot back, optionally keeping it lifted. As you exhale, lowers down to the mat. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, curl the toes down dog. Left leg lifted up. On exhale, curl the left knee towards chest. Step left foot towards left thumb. And find a low lunge here. Begin to pour weight into that left foot and find a warrior three variation of your choice. Squeezing the left glute, flexing the right foot behind you. If it's in your practice, you may extend the arms long and curl everything in towards center, taking a big crunch here, bending that right knee, and then lifting everything up to a high karate. Feeling that shaking in the left foot as you possibly begin to find your figure four variation by crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, hands to heart center, and sinking down, bending the left foot bending the left leg, really grounding into all four corners of the left foot, sinking a little lower here. Grab your right knee or your left toes, begin to use this to spin you out to the right side of the room, landing in goddess pose, toes out, heels in, find a neutral spine pelvis tucked under and once again big breath in letting your arms go long and then taking the bind of the opposite arms now maybe just grabbing opposite shoulder Whatever you are is perfect just allowing yourself to find those circle motions here where you're sweeping your mat with your bind Connecting with your breath. One more big circle. Allowing everything to open back out. Inhale. And then on the exhale, turn towards the front of your mat. Frame your left foot and step back for a vinyasa. Keeping the left leg lifted if you'd like or just skipping it and meeting us in down dog whenever you're ready. A couple of things here. And then walking or floating back into that Malasana yogi squat. Just taking a few moments here to really let that heat build. Squeeze your glutes to lift you off. Don't just sink in and let yourself hang out on your joints. Really activate your muscles to keep yourself lifted. We'll take 10 breaths here. You may choose to stay exactly where you are, or you may choose to play around with a little bit of a crow, allowing your hands to come out in front of you, and then kissing your back of the forearms with your knees beginning to come onto your toes. Maybe lifting one foot at a time as you hinge into your hands, palming the floor like a basketball. It's all core here, lifting, looking ahead of you, wherever you are, two more breaths. And then shoot the feet back, land in a plank. Exhale, lowers you all the way down to the mat. And just take a baby cobra here, inhale, lift through the heart. And exhale, push through your tabletop and meet in down dog.
bend your knees, look forward, step or float to the top of your mat, and just hang out in your forward fold here. Allow the neck to be heavy, maybe walking your hands from side to side, shaking out the arms, shoulders, neck. We're done on arms, I promise. <laughs> But you know I gotta hit my bird of paradise. So from here, begin to take your right hand and twist it up towards the sky. Might feel good to bend that left knee as you do so. If this is where you feel comfortable, this feels so good on my right thigh. And this is absolutely beautiful, but you may choose to bend that right elbow, allowing the palm to stay open at your low back. And you might take that left hand in between your, your feet, reaching back behind you. You may even be able to, coming really up onto your left toes, bind the hands together. And I'll turn towards the side so everybody can see. And pouring your weight into your right foot here, you might begin to stand all the way up holding this little chicken wing. And you might even extend that left leg long. And then slowly releasing everything, coming back one layer at a time. Whenever you feel ready, just shaking everything out. And bend, extending the knees a little bit before taking it to the other side, twisting open to the left side of the room, bending the right knee, coming up onto the right toes, and again, honoring the differences between each side. So maybe try it on this side if you didn't before, and maybe go a little easy on yourself. As you reach the right hand in between, possibly finding that bind at your low back, or just staying wherever you feel is most productive as you begin to stand up on that left leg, possibly extending that right leg long. One breath here. And then slowly releasing one layer at a time from wherever you were. And meeting in a forward fold. Really resetting here. From your forward fold, come up onto your toes, bend the knees, find a squat, coming all the way down, keeping your hands on the floor. Stand back up, allow the heels to drop, forward fold. A few more times, coming onto your toes, taking a nice squat. Pressing into your heels, driving up into your forward fold. And then one last time, coming onto your toes, taking a squat. And then exhale, forward fold, allow the heels to drop. From here, bend the knees, allow the booty to sit down. We are sitting. <laughs> Bend the knees, allow the feet to go out long in front of you. Or I'm sorry, just placed underneath your, your knees here. And begin to find a bit of a boat pose so you can reach your arms out long and to float each foot. It might feel good to grab behind the thighs for a bit of a support or float your hands. You may begin to extend the feet here. Wherever you are is beautiful. Just give yourself 10 rounds of breath, being present, allowing the shaking. Feels so good. You got five more breaths here. Three 
anymore. And then you can release, tap the heels down, maybe place your hands behind you. Give yourself a bit of a break, allow the knees to rock side to side maybe. And then allow yourself to lay all the way down onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze. Send your heels up towards the sky for a bit of a hamstring stretch like we did in the beginning, but with both feet. And now take your hands, place them to your thighs with your legs extended long, and begin to pulse up and down your shins with your hands as if you're going to grab your toes. You can even bend your knees to allow yourself to sit up and grab your toes, releasing back down. Some toe touch crunches here. Be here for about 60 seconds, so your variation. Wherever you are, just make sure you're going slow and with control, connecting with your breath, that mind-body connection, noticing every little part of your abdomen engaged here to lift you up, releasing slowly to the ground, protecting that low back. 30 more seconds. You might not like the fluid back and forth. You might prefer to just hold a boat pose. 10 more seconds. See if you can get five more little crunches in here. Last one. And then allow yourself to rest all the way down to the mat. Let your so s knees bend, soles of the feet touch. Open your knees to your degree of comfort for a little bit of a butterfly pose here. You can let your arms go long or just alongside your body. And then just resting. Connecting with your breath. Squeezing the glutes from this butterfly position. Bend your elbows, make little fists keeping your arms alongside the body and then begin to press into the outside of your feet lifting your glutes up off the mat just like we did in bridge but now with the knees open this is called a frog pump and then release back down and we'll do five more of these inhale lift and squeeze exhale release down moving with your breath Two more. And then you can release the bind, let your arms go long. Maybe give your knees a little bit of a squeeze. A little rocking side to side. Before allowing the feet to drop back to the mat and the knees to open wide once again for a butterfly pose allowing the legs the arms to go long palms facing up and just regrounding here Reconnecting with your breath.
even when you think you've found all there is to find here. Just see what three more rounds of breath can do. Maybe you notice a little bit of tension you didn't even know you had. See what you can let go of and just surrender. One more breath here. And slowly, with the assistance of your hands, maybe bringing the knees back in towards center. And you might grab those knees and give them a squeeze and rock and roll all the way up to a seated position. As you allow your legs to go out long in front of you. Take a big breath, let the spine be long. And exhale, begin to hinge at the hips for a forward fold. You can grab the shins, ankles, toes, even just the mat. If you're at home, if you have a strap, that might feel really good to use. Something that you can grab onto and use a little bit of a leverage or weight. Allow your neck to be heavy. Your breath to be fluid and rhythmic. And noticing where your mind goes. See if you can use these postures as moving meditations to keep your focus here. So many sensations in the body like hundreds and thousands of them just these very subtle tingling and temperature and just do a little bit of a body scan if you find your mind wandering and use this body to bring you back to the present moment and take five more breaths here And then when you're ready, making your way all the way onto your back, just letting yourself go along. Maybe giving the knees a little bit of a hug. It might feel good to grab the shins or even the toes, bending the knees and giving yourself a little bit of a happy baby here. And then bend the knees, place the feet underneath the knees, allow the arms to go wide to the side like we did in the beginning of the class, allow the knees to drop to one side as you look over the opposite shoulder. And see what variation feels good here. I love to pull the knees a little bit up higher, closer to the body. I like to extend that top leg long, maybe even interlace the legs. It might feel good to just stay completely still 
but try on a couple different motions. See what feels good for your body on this side today. Keep the weight in the shoulders even. The most important thing is that you're focusing on your breath. Let's take two more conscious, deep breaths here. Really fill up the lungs. Maybe the biggest breath you've taken today. And if you're at home and you can, just let a big breath out through your mouth. And when you're ready, it might feel good to stay where you are, but if you're ready, you can slowly return towards center and taking it towards the other side. Again, looking over that opposite shoulder. And then as always, just noticing the differences on each side. Maybe the variations that you tried on the other side don't feel as good as this side or just respecting the body and exploring your practice. What feels good for you? Again, grounding through both shoulders here. Allowing the weight of gravity to do the work. Take, again, two more just deep, conscious breaths here. Really noticing the lungs filling up, the rib cage expand. And let it go. More big breath in. And then returning towards center whenever you're ready. Maybe... Once again, hugging the knees. And then with the knees bent, finding a little bit of a figure four like we did standing, maybe crossing the ankle over the thigh. I'm doing my right ankle over my left thigh. Maybe with the assistance of the hand, activating into that right thigh flexing the right foot to, ke to keep your knee safe. You might even feel good to float that left foot off the ground. Maybe even extend that left leg long. Noticing the hips, the low back. Take another big breath here. And allowing yourself to unfold layer by layer and taking it to the other side. Crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. And finding whatever degree of engagement feels right for you, for your body.
one more big breath. And then let everything even out. Slowly allow your legs to go long. Your hands can go alongside your body, palms facing up. Any other motions that might feel good here, feel free to take them. Before settling down into Savasana. Allowing the toes to go out open. Letting yourself take up space. Noticing the breath. Might feel good to put one hand on your chest and one on your belly just for a tactile reminder of the breath flowing in and out. Noticing where your mind goes. And if you notice, maybe it took you somewhere in the past or planning for the future, maybe something that's not so productive, just coming back to the present moment. You may even let your eyes close. We did a lot of tree poses today, a couple different variations, and there's so much people love about trees, but they serve as two very important symbols of meditation. On the one hand, they're very rooted and they've got this unshakable quality about them. That just cannot be disturbed. And then on the other hand, the leaves and the branches are flexible. They bend and sway without breaking. Allow your mindfulness practice to incorporate the lessons of a tree. You are forever in contact with this stillness that goes nowhere. But you also have the flexibility to bend and sway with the wind and the changing seasons and the weather without breaking. Take another big breath in, let it go. Begin to make some small motions with the body, maybe wiggling the fingers and the toes. It might feel good to stay where you are, or roll onto one side, find a fetal position, and then make your way into a seated position.
wherever you are, thank you so much for joining, supporting Mystic and your own practice. We're all in this together. Happy Monday. Thank you so much for joining. Namaste.